How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get a six pack with only one exercise. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. Um, so to get a six pack with one exercise, um, there are two exercises that I recommend, but either one of these exercises will work. So I'm still technically answering your question. Um, you will get a six pack doing either one of these exercises. Just pick one, you don't have to do both. So the first exercise that I recommend to do is to get some plates or dumbbells. It, it doesn't matter which one, um, any type of weight. If you don't have access to weight, that's fine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get the plate or the dumbbell, you're gonna put it directly under your head and you're just gonna start doing weighted ab crunches. That's my go-to exercise for getting shredded abs. And yes, my abs are super shredded. If you check my abs out on Instagram, Dillenberg999, you will see they are super shredded. And it's from doing weighted ab crunches. 12 years of weighted ab crunches. I now get about 50 pounds. I get two big 25 pound plates. I put them behind my head and I do weighted ab crunches. I'll do about 25 reps and four to five sets. So like 100 to 125 reps. And that's a lot of weight. Like that is hard to hold that and to do crunches. So yeah, that is my go-to for getting six-packed abs. It's one exercise. That's all I do for my ab training. You're probably thinking, well, this guy must do like half an hour of ab training with different exercises, like 10 different exercises. I do I do one ab exercise and I do it once a week for like three to four sets. And that's it. That That's literally my ab training. Right now I do, I do my push workout, which is like chest, shoulder, triceps. I'll do that on Wednesday. Uh, Saturday is my leg day. And, and on my leg day, I'll do quads, hammies, calves, and then I'll do my ab training. So that's when I do my ab training. And then Monday is my pull training, like my deadlifts, my pull-ups, my rows, my curls. But, but yeah, that's my one exercise. Weighted ab crunch is literally the best exercise. Um, and they demolish the normal weighted ab crunch or the normal crunch because I'm using weights. So I'm actually making it way harder, way harder of an exercise. The next exercise that you can do is getting weight. It doesn't matter if you don't have access to weights because I know some people don't. Try to find something around your house that you can pick up. Right now, at my house, I would pick the chair up. I would literally pick the chair up. I would lift it over my head and I would start walking. What this does is this requires amazing core stability. When you lift anything over your head, your abs automatically contract it doesn't matter when you're doing the ab crunch you kind of have to actually think about contracting and you actually have to force yourself to contract your abs when you are lifting something directly over your head your abs automatically contract or it would not be possible for you to lift that over your head that's core stability and doing this will make your core extremely strong if you don't believe me look at strongmen strongmen like 90 percent of their training is lifting things over their head. So their shoulders are jacked, their abs are insanely shredded. So that's what I recommend to do. Grab a dumbbell, ground, grab a plate. If you don't have access to that, grab something around the house, lift it directly over your head and just start walking for about 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds is done, if you find that easy, add more weight or walk for a longer period of time. End of video, thank you so much for watching.